see stars in the daytime on Earth, not because they're not there, but because the atmosphere is a glow with scattered light from the sun. If you take away the atmosphere, the sun will still be there, but the sky goes dark. That's what the folks get when they go to the edge of the atmosphere, and they're calling that the edge of space. But when you get to the edge of the atmosphere, the atmosphere is no longer between you and the rest of the universe. And the stars reveal themselves just as they would at night. Since the moon has no atmosphere, then a daytime picture, if you're there in the daytime of the moon, you see a full night, night sky of stars, mm -hmm. even with the sun in the sky as well. But when you get to the edge of the atmosphere, the stars reveal themselves just as they would at night. If you're there in the daytime of the moon, you see a full night, night sky of stars, mm -hmm. even with the sun in the sky as well. Mm -hmm. Even with the sun in the sky as well. Uh, we were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. We were never able to see stars. The sky is uh, a deep black. Uh, when viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the Earth and the moon. If you're there in the date... Have you ever looked away from Earth into the black void? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah all the you time. Can see, yeah, because yeah. you can see the stars. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. You know, and and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. Yeah. It's, it's not a black cool void. Thing. I mean, it's black, but there's all kinds of little polka dots. There's all the, there's all the stars there. And the cool thing is about you can see it during the day. And when you're, when you're in space and you're looking into deep space and you're on the sun side of the orbit, uh, the sunlight washes out all the starlight, so you can't see any stars, just like here on Earth. There's all, the, there's all the stars there, and the cool thing is about you can see it during the day. Uh, the sunlight washes out all the starlight, so you can't see any stars, just like here on Earth. But then when you look out into deep space away from the sun, it's the darkest black you can imagine. Yeah, you can, and there's more than stars. You can see planets. You right. can see moons. You, you see the, ga the gas... Uh, in like just hanging there in a vast sea of darkness in the most frightening darkness that you could ever imagine Magellan clouds of yeah, the yeah, you see galaxy. the Magellanic clouds Magellanic, see I was yeah. I just wanted the Magellan well, there's a large clouds. one and a small one, one right? Yeah. the sky is uh, a deep black uh, when viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space the space between the earth and the moon and, and then you can see uh, the zodiacal light. Whoa. Uh, those, those are amazing. Right before the lights sunlight. of the zodiac? The lights of the zodiac. The z Whoa. zodiacal Whoa. lights, okay? Mr. Armstrong, I do realize that when you were on the moon, you had very little time for gazing upwards. But could you tell us something about what the sky actually looks like from the moon, the sun, the earth, the stars, if any, and so on? The sky is uh, a deep black. Uh, when viewed from the moon as it is, when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the Earth and the moon, the, uh, the Earth is the only visible object other than the sun that can be seen, although there have been some reports of seeing planets. I myself did not see planets from the surface, but I suspect they might uh, be visible. I'll tell the government right now. Tell you right now, if you're listening, NSACA, I'm available. Okay, if you show me all the real wreckage, I swear to God, I will make fun of that crap to the end of time. I'll make up stories. I'll, I'll lie to my mother. I don't care. You show me a UFO, I'll lie to my mother.